Jinder? Cage match? Cage match? Ratio! Ratio! <laughs> yep, I'm getting liked. Own, 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 hashtag own. Um, Jimmy, are you okay? I, I just ratio it to all. Are you okay, pal? Yeah, pal, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> are you, uh... No, nah, I'm good, pal. Um, I was just doing a a bit of visualization. How, uh, how, how much, how deep did you try to get into the character of Tony Khan? You're not, like, really taking it too deep, right? You're not doing everything that Tony Khan does. Like, you know how some actors, like, when, when, they're, when they're playing someone, they're portraying someone, they become that person in real life? You're not becoming Tony Khan in real life, off camera, right? I hope not. I wouldn't want to be. Um, <laughs> but no, th that was just me doing a... Um, let's say illicit substance free version of what Tony Khan was doing on, on, on X Twitter in the past few days. Um, we're a little late to the party with this. This was like three days ago, but we feel like, you know, we're entertaining enough to where we can come in four or five days after and it'll still be entertaining pal. So yeah. Um, just for context, before you get to the real, I guess, crux, meat and potatoes of what we're going to discuss, I've only actually seen Tony's initial tweet jinder's like final like ratio reply and then eric bischoff's little clown emoji that's what i've seen here and i know there's been a big circus around it because i'm not on x i don't really I'm, I'm a busy man during the work week pal so i don't really see this stuff over to you pal talk to me walk me through it give me all your honest opinions all right so let's start from the very beginning this all started this is a a meltdown of tony khan i want to say this off jump i, I predicted in our big calls, right, that Tony Khan's meltdown that he had last year was just the infancy. And we are going to see a timeline of the full meltdown of Tony Khan. And we're what? What, what are we on? We're, this, we're 12 days into the new year? <laughs> this meltdown started happening on January 9th is when this occurred. So nine days into the new year, the meltdown of Tony Khan is continuous. So we're going to document the meltdown as it goes on into May and july and august and december of next year of this year i should say oh my god yep it's crazy it's it's already um it's already progressing i don't want to say it's beginning as it begun last year all right so mm -hmm. raj uh raj giri I, I believe is how you pr uh, pronounce his name from wrestling inc after raw when you had the G gender mahal seth rollins stare down we get the announcement oh it's gonna be gender and seth rollins pal for the wwe title let's get it raj giri goes on x and he posts quote these guys do have history. Seth Rollins defeated Jinder Mahal in the tournament finals to become the first NXT champion. Hashtag WWE Raw. Typical IWC stuff where, you know, they, they create a long-term storytelling out of anything. Yeah. Uh, Wade Barrett shook hands with David Otunga in 2011 and <laughs> in, in the background of an NXT show. Oh my god, now they're on commentary 12 years later. Magical long-term storytelling. Oh, Triple sure. H, best booker of all time. Triple H, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, so USA Network, <laughs> an intern that, that's working for NBC, is running the USA Network X account. Yeah. Right. Responds to this tweet from Raj Giri. It says, quote, what was the cage match rating? So that tweet got like 7,000 hearts, whatever. And this is on January 8th. You know, people are laughing. Like, you know, people are dunking mm -hmm. on AEW and Tony Khan. Oh, no. So, you know, of course, Tony Khan decides... Hey, I'm going to respond to this. So Tony Khan quote tweets this the next day on January 9th. He quote tweets and he says, A moral victory for USA is one win more than, than their world title challenger, Jinder Mahal, has had in the past 364 days. Because it's been literally a full year since he won a match. You really put AEW in our place getting Jinder Mahal in a big match on your TV show. Do it more often. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Tony Khan here is uh, <laughs> responding to an intern that works for NBC that is running USA Network, uh, USA Network X account. So we're prefaced yeah, with and that. Kevin, and Kevin, on that, so as you say, the content of what Tony Khan said there and like that tweet itself, not wrong. You know, Jinder Mahal... What's he done sort of business? Yes, he had that segment with The Rock. That's got millions and millions and the most viral segment ever. But from like the winning matches point of view, yeah, Jim Mahal hasn't done much. But it's the fact that Tony Khan's tweeting it. 
is the problem once again. This isn't something the face, head of creative, head of the company, number one big don in your promotion tweets. It's just not. Can you imagine Paul Levesque going on Twitter at the moment, Samoa Joe won the AW World title and being like, piss ant, he couldn't win the WWE Championship, so he goes to AEW and wins their belt. <laughs> like, it just, that, that doesn't happen in a professional company. Like, maybe you get one of the goons or the stooges backstage who's like, a few, like a bunch of rungs below Tony. Not Tony. He's responding to some intern saying that. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, exactly, Sorry. no. Very well said, pal. Mm-hmm. So, you interjected. You added your, uh, your piece, pal. You added the color, pal. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hit you with more play-by-play. Are you ready, pal? I'm so ready for this, pal. Yeah, I, I'm, this I'm is gonna... the bit where, as I said, I don't really know the, the most of the play-by-play. I know, like, the final part of it, but I'll, I'm not on X, as I said. I don't know this. And what happened next? Pal, you're, you you're Jesse Ventura in 1988, pal. Going to add the color. Okay. So now, oh. our, uh, our old friend, the coach, Jonathan Coachman. Remember him? I do, pal. Uh, I he do, he yep. quote tweets in, in response to Tony Khan. Oh, God. And he says, we also used to get amused at fans who counted wins like wrestlers, quote, earned them. Hell, if Vince wanted, <laughs> hell, if Vince wanted, I could have been world champion. But the storyline didn't support it. It's about the story clearly not wins in a predetermined space. Thought a boss would understand that. Shrug shoulder emoji. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, that that's just blistering. That's just any like uh, Tony Khan's comment on its merits is like I mean reasonable. As I said in my deep analysis part, my my color. T- Jonathan Coachman's gone in and just like he's he's got Tony Khan bend him over and starts just spanking him with that reply. That's brutal. That's brutal. Coachman's given a belting to Tony there. Now carry it on. Yeah, Jonathan Coachman very rarely like tweets anything of significance. This is probably the most significant tweet he's made in forever. Like, I don't know what he does now. I think he does, like, golf commentary or something. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Pal, okay. that's like a, that was, like, a legitimate shoot takedown as well. Like, he made, like, four different valid, legitimate points that are very true. And, like, and this is towards the big boss of AW who's tried to go after an intern at the USA Network. It's like, bro, okay. No, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, somebody replies to Coach on X. Somebody named Mikey. They reply to Coach. They say, Tony forgets that he literally gave Abaddon a title shot after being off AEW TV for over a year. The same exact situation as Jinder. Now, this is where it gets spicy now. (laughs) Eric Bischoff. (laughs) You may know him as the guy that was running WCW when they defeated Monday Night Raw in the TV ratings for 83 straight straight weeks. Eric Bischoff, the legend Eric Bischoff himself. Joins in the fun. He quote tweets Mr. Mikey and he says, Hey, at Tony Khan, is this true or is it a bot? So you know Tony Khan got his Twitter <laughs> fingers out, pal. Oh, no. You already know that. Okay, yeah. pal. Now. Now is when... Now, yeah, this is where it gets really interesting. Okay. okay. Tony Khan tweets this. A double standard. Hook. Has his son, AEW star Hook. Hook has a 28-1 career record. On a winning streak, calls out the champ. A logical challenge sparks online outrage. Jinder has literally lost every single match he's in for the past year. Immediately gets title shot. Where is the rage? AEW Dynamite tomorrow on TBS. Just before you say anything else, to my knowledge... Jinder Mahal's had like how many matches? Like two or three, as well. Like I don't. Maybe I'm just way off the mark here. This is just my general analyses here. Hook, who he references there, wrestles like every week, and most of those 28 wins are on like Dark and Collision, and they're filmed in literally literally parking lots. That that's their performance center. Hook's winning in for the most part. So, firstly, there's that. Secondly, this whole thing's so ridiculous, just as is. Like this is so egregious. Oh, yeah. the, the head honcho, big don of the company, to be involved in rubbish like this on X. Hold on, hold on, this pal. Hold that, hold that thought, pal. Hold that thought. Let me read, let me read a couple more tweets, and then we can break this down. In more. Oh, this would be good. This Go is on. some good ones. Go on. So this is his direct response to Bischoff asking if what, uh, what was said is true. So about the Abaddon, okay. that, that Abaddon piece. 
Tony says, no, Eric Bischoff, not true at all. Abaddon returned to AEW. Then they won a four-way match on TNT against other great wrestlers to earn a title shot, which is completely different than someone going a full year, losing every match they're in, and getting a title shot without a single win. Now, let's, let's kick it up a notch, pal. Let, let, let's push the envelope. Oh, Lord, it gets, it gets better. This would be good. But yeah. I'm going to read a, a fan's response to Tony Khan. So, Tony Khan, the lovely tweet I read about Hook a moment ago. There's a, a lovely Twitter account named Pal. Uh, gets, in, gets in on the action and responds right. to Tony Khan. Pal says, You're worrying about the rage involving Jinder Mahal instead of the outrage about Chris Jericho, a sexual <laughs> harasser. <laughs> <laughs> a sexual harasser in your workplace is the real problem that tweet has 11,000 likes 353,000 views now for context Tony Khan's has 8.3 million views and has 9,000 likes that's just a that's just a KO punch that. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is Wow. Uh, this is bad. Let me get let me get another one. This is from ISO Wrestling. Uh, oh, in, no. in response, a quote tweet. This is a this is in a quote tweet in response to Tony's original <laughs> quote tweet to the USA Network intern. ISO Wrestling says Tony Khan is worried about a USA Twitter account and Jinder Mahal. But he turns a blind eye to sexual misconduct allegations within his company. Stay classy, Tony. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. This is worse than I thought it was. I thought this was just, yeah, ha, ha Tony Khan is responding to an intern. That's what I thought this was. I thought it was just, oh my god, Tony's having a Twitter rage about an intern. Kevin, the the things people justifiably come out with in response to this, just everyday fans on X are just like, bruh. Your company has Chris Jericho and everything that surrounds him getting frequent TV time. Kevin, Chris Jericho was literally in a brawl segment where his music was playing this week and no one was singing his theme song during the brawl. I've never seen that before. Anyway. Well, they, they, they played the music to drown out the NDA chants and the booze. <laughs> that's, that, that's why they played that's the why. music. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so then it just kind of it kind of devolved. Bischoff and, and Tony Khan went back and forth a little bit. Essentially, the crux of that was like people were like, "Wait, Eric Bischoff, you did the same thing as Tony Khan." And Eric Bischoff's like, "Actually, I beat Vince in the ratings for over a year." So, like, there's nothing to see here, bro. Yeah, Eric Bischoff literally quote tweeted uh, that tweet that Tony Khan made about Hook. He quote tweeted that with a clown emoji and ratioed him. Crazy. I had like 12,000 likes compared to Tony's nine. Uh, oh my God. So, okay, let, let's break this down now. Let, let's, let's, get, let's get our critical analysis face on, pal. So, wow. Go ahead. You just go. It's kind of pathetic. It, it's given the things that I mentioned that I read from these, uh, these people that are on Twitter that are mentioning real life allegations that are going on in Tony Khan's company. And this guy is knowingly doing things like blocking out booze and NDA chants during Chris Jericho segments, purposely drowning them out with his theme music, purposely turning a blind eye to allegations, and then is going to proceed to go on Twitter and talk about Jinder Mahal not quote-unquote earning a championship, a championship match in a fake entertainment space. This is not a real sport. As Jonathan Coachman so perfectly said, wins and losses do not matter. Bro. But that, just the fact that Tony Codd is ignoring real-life allegations, had bullying allegations, harassment allegations, assaults, and he's more worried about Jinder Mahal and a USA Network intern. I mean, the downfall of AEW, it could... Like, I don't want to be too dramatic... It could be sooner than later, honestly, with the way this guy is acting. This guy clearly has lost control of everything. He's lost control of the product. The product is the AEW product on screen is not even remotely close to what it was promised to be, what it was in its in its infancy. He's on a tailspin. 
a dangerous tailspin. Yeah, that's you, you've you've nailed it there. And then what I saw as well, you had Brian Alvarez, whether it was on the Wrestling Observe newsletter or just how he tweeted it himself, or he put something out into the world from his angle, saying he had multiple, numerous AW employees, wrestlers, talents coming to him, being like, I, "Can he just stop? Like, can he just put the this is an embarrassment." Like, imagine if your boss was just making a clown show of where you work, the way like, way Tony Khan does here, like. I think look at the on-screen product for AW. Now, in fairness, the f- past week and a bit hasn't been as like sloppy as the you know final months of 2023. Albeit, there's still been the Chris Jericho song to drown out the NBA chance. He, he should that. not be on TV. Jericho should not be on TV. I right. just want to say that. Go ahead. Yeah. No, bang on. And then you, you're obviously having Revolution, which is like the farewell of retirement of Sting, which Sting is a legend, a great... I personally don't think his farewell match needs seven months of build in the main event of a pay-per-view in 2024. Is that a hot take? I doubt it. I think a lot of people think the same way. So they're facing Sting and Darby Allen facing the Young Bucks. And then you're probably going to have Swerve win the AW World Championship from Samoa Joe in a triple threat match or just a one-on-one match in like the middle of the show from Samoa Joe. That's what it looks like they're going to do. And it's like, um, okay, I guess that's your what. I don't know. So on screen, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of Jericho I agree on fully. Behind the scenes, as we're analyzing here, pal, as we're putting out analysis, like analyst caps on, it's just pretty much the same sentiments as the last like two or three Tony Khan Twitter meltdowns. Be better. This is sets a poor example for your wrestlers. Like imagine like all the wrestlers back there who some 35 year old, they're, you know, working for AW, they have their own issues of creative or their booking or their lack of being used or their positioning on the show. You already have grunts and concerns. And then your boss who you're trying to voice these to is so preoccupied and caught up with responding to interns at the USA Network and Jinder Mahal's match record in the last year when he's wrestled like five matches. He's barely, he's barely been on. Like what? Like, you know, it's just nonsense like this. It, the priority is out of whack. And I love that someone mentioned Jericho so scathingly and bluntly. Tony Khan would have seen that. Hopefully, he can take action now because he's seen someone ratio him about Jericho saying, get your priorities in order. Jericho with X, Y, and Z allegations, everything going on, clearly isn't that much of a priority. Oh, we'll get the discipline committee to do it. In other words, Daniel Bryan, that's your job. Fix it. Not good enough. Not good enough. Kevin, I don't know. Yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's end it with this. So Jinder Mahal got on Twitter and made an iconic post in response to Tony Khan when he's talking about Hook's record. Jinder Mahal quote tweets that. It says, who the F is Hook? Watch Monday Night Raw on USA Network, Monday, 8 p.m. That literally in like, I don't even know, in like three or four hours had like 35,000 likes. It was crazy. It was way over Tony Khan's. (laughs) Yes, man. But then Jinder deleted it. I don't know why. But whatever, Jinder deletes it. I guess he was uh, he couldn't handle the outrage of people being like, "Hook is this guy, bro?" I don't know. I don't know what it was, but he shouldn't have deleted it. That that was awesome and funny. Uh, Hell, yeah. And just yeah, I mean, on the Jinder thing, it's like, bro, within the space of two weeks, let's just review. So the Jinder Mahal goes from yeah, he's his WWE title run in 2017. Whatever, I get the idea of trying to make in like get the Indian market. It didn't really click in America. Whatever, cool. WWE wasn't very good then. Now has the big segment with The Rock where he's, he's yelling in Hindi, praising India. Then The Rock cooks him for fifteen minutes. That gets millions and millions of views. That YouTube full segment's up to like seven million views already. I looked at that yesterday. That's nuts in a week. So there's that. He's involved in that. So it's like the biggest segment of the year will be one of them. Now he's going to have a world title match as a, as a reward, basically, next week. Is he going to win? Of course he's not. But it's just it's a part of the show, pal. There's, there's history there, pal. 11 years ago, the NXT title, I, know. I guess. <laughs> you know, stuff like that's hilarious as well. Like, Twitter can do that with anything. Like, you have a wrestler look at another wrestler. Oh, my God, five years ago on, on Xavier Woods' YouTube channel, he lost a video game battle to him. This is history. Stuff like that. It's just, you know, it's nonetheless. So Kevin, just one more thing. I don't know how much you want to address on this. Obviously, this is like the main topic, the main talking point. Some other little interesting things I want to just mention. You saw the Chris Jericho and MVP stuff surface, like about how they had like the fight, the altercation, pal, on the cruise. Then like a year or two later in a hotel lobby, pal, Jericho was scurrying to the ho- to the lobby, to the elevator. I don't know, fight jobbers. 
Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I, I would be scared of MVP, too, if I were Chris Jericho. I mean, MVP is a legitimate tough guy, pal. That, that, that's someone I wouldn't want to mess with, me personally. No, that's crazy. I want to say this, too. Yeah. People on Twitter were like, oh, <laughs> Tony Khan did a better job promoting Jinder Mahal's match with Seth Rollins than he's done promoting AEW in four years. <laughs> so you're like, and stuff like that. We don't try and come off as at all as like AW haters, right? AW as, as I said myself, they do some stuff pretty well. You know, they're past that show. They had a great match with Claudio and Hangman on Dynamite. Like there's stuff, they're past that show, which I legitimately am entertained by. But it's just the stuff that, as OTR Central said in his video, there's just too much BS. There's too much drama. There's too much of this sort of stuff, this, this nonsense. It's like, it, this isn't what you expect from a professional, like A1 entity wrestling company. I expect this from like the Slam Pro Wrestling League, like an indie fed in Australia. I expect that from them or someone like that, not AEW with Tony Khan's billions, pal. Also, before we go, pal, did you purchase your Jacksonville Jaguars playoff tickets? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, um, if I did, I'd be getting a refund. Pal, pal, if you actually, well, one, they didn't make the playoffs, which is the whole, which yeah, is yeah. hilarious. I know. But, they, they put the tickets on sale before they even made the playoffs. Like, come on. <laughs> That's the most Jacksonville Tony Khan thing I've ever heard in my life. But you imagine, pal, you buy a ticket to that stadium, you go and take a seat, you look under your seat to see Which I've done. I've been to the Jaguar Stadium. Did you see a rodent there? No, I didn't. The they, like, literally, I went, like, two weeks before that story came out. <laughs> and I was like, bro, it's just there. Like... That's hilarious. But pal, so just you did not say any rodents. I did not. No, I, I cannot go on record on camera <laughs> and say that I saw rodents in the Jacksonville Jaguar Stadium. <laughs> that that I did not I did not personally see any rodents. Uh, I did witness a great football game between the New York football giants and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great game. It was mostly yeah. Giants fans. We were we are outnumbering the Jacksonville Jaguars fans, but I digress. Wow. I digress, pal. All right. Yeah, that, that's I mean, that's all from me. That's the main things I wanted to address. Um, also, because stories like yeah, whatever that fan or whoever that person was who witnessed the the CM Punk Jungle Boy backstage thing, there was that story. Then there was a story about the Hardys. Jeff Hardy was dissatisfied with the the position on the AW card. Like every time Kevin, I go on like the Ringside News or one of these wrestling sites before we do a recording or an extra or a podcast. I'm like, what can we discuss? Like what what's going on? Everything is just AW drama. I'm not, I'm not even trying to be like over dramatic here. I go on and it's just like a list, a laundry list of these stories. Jinder Mahal's response to Tony, Eric Bischoff's response. Tony says this, Tony says that this wrestler is unhappy. This wrestler isn't happy. Wardlow dissatisfied. Yadi, Ricky Starks' contract. I'm like, fam, like WWE's got WrestleMania 40 build going on. And, and like they're, they're popping off by the way. Rock don't ruin everything again. Like you did in 2013, but like, it's well, ridiculous. Well, well, Roman is not going to be there at Australia, if you believe the Which rumors. Just, that cannot be true. You've got to be kidding so me. So that means in St. Petersburg, I'm going to witness The Rock throw out CM Punk. They're going to be the final two, The Rock and CM Punk. The Rock's going to throw out CM Punk over the top rope, get his hand raised, eyebrow raised, smelling what the people are cooking in St. Petersburg, pal. The Rock's going to be pointing at the WrestleMania sign. Rock Kevin. versus Roman. Lock it in, pal. Right now, lock it in. That's the main event. Cody can finish his story at WrestleMania 59. And, and you and I can be in attendance there. For WrestleMania 59, pal, to watch Cody finish his story. I'm down. Pal, you have, like, Pharaoh barking at Solo Sokoa. That would be awful. Um, oh, oh, God. No, hey, pal. I, I'll, I'll just say this before we close. Just because, yeah, yeah. you know, we just, we discuss, we're going to discuss this, like, every week for the next, like, year. But this, right now, Kevin, this is Triple H's defining moment as a leader, as the head honcho of creative. Well, how Triple H handles this, there's precedent from 10 years ago, what happened, CM Punk, yada, yada, Punk's back now even, there's precedent. This is your defining moment, Paul Levesque. How do you want to be remembered as the head of creative? Are you just Vince McMahon 2.0, or are you your own individual leader? Show us right now. This is your moment. Prove to us what you're made of. That's all I'll say. We'll leave it there, pal, unless there's another blistering, scorching take you want to come at us with. It can't be as bad as what Jay Uso is going to cost Cody in the main event thing. That is That's truly legitimately egregious. what's going to happen, though. I, I have backstage access to Paul Levesque's notebook, pal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace.